If you're a gym owner, this video is for you. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through five levers that you can pull inside of your gym right now to increase your profit. This is the same information that we teach our clients who pay us over $40,000 a year to actually implement inside of their business. And you can just have it right now. I'm gonna break this down in the following video. My name is Kale Owen. I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And over the last six years, we've done over $100 million in revenue. And we have worked with over 4,500 different gyms in over 20 different countries. And our entire goal is to help gym owners reach more people, change more lives, and stack a whole bunch of cash. So let's walk through this. Typically, this takes like 90 minutes to work through, um, but I'm gonna do my best to condense this down into 10 minutes or less so that you can watch it and implement it as quickly as possible. It's really important to understand that there are five levers, more than five levers, but there are basically five levers in your business. You can flip any one of them. And if you do flip any of those and actually pull this lever, you're going to make a huge difference inside of your business. And if you're not making the mo as much money as you'd like, one or more of them is probably broken inside of your business. So at first glance, you're going to think like, how can such a little shift make any difference, especially as I walk through them? But trust me on this, they will have a massive impact long term for you. It's really important though, as we get into this, I need to break down the broken model before I show you the new model for each single one of these. So let's talk number one. Number one is sessions. So the number of sessions that you offer, Offer. Most gyms offer unlimited sessions because they think that that's going to make somehow the package seem more valuable. If you have access to everything, it's going to make it more valuable. No, absolutely not. Think about what we typically get unlimited access to Netflix, Planet Fitness, the salad bar, at Golden Corral you name it. Now think about the price points for those things. They're always low, no matter what. That's because the more we have access to something, the less valuable we think it is. The human brain thinks that if it's expensive, it should be harder to reach, like a Lexus or a diamond ring, a Bugatti, you name it. So the switch, now the new model, so that was a broken model, new model is to switch your access to three sessions a week and you'll watch two things happen. Number one is your offer is gonna be perceived as more valuable, which means that your sales are actually gonna be a little bit easier and you can charge a higher price. I know, shocking. But you're also gonna be able to double your gym's capacity, which means you can sell more memberships. For example, let's say you have 100 members coming in and that's your absolute max. You could only have 100 members inside of your gym, space, classes, everything. So you only had 100 members and you offer them unlimited. If you go to three times per week, you now have doubled the capacity, which means you can now go to 200 members. It's that simple. Number two is price. This is where most gym owners absolutely screw this up. Most gyms have two packages that are practically the same price point. Typically it's a $99 to $129 a month. Some do up to $150. So if you're watching this, you're like, no, I do 150, 165. You're still too cheap. If you have people that are willing to pay more, then you should allow them to pay more. Instead of offering them something that's $99 a month, it's not how it works. So here's what you should be doing. Okay. Your price points actually need to mean something. You want to give your premium clients a chance to be able to pay you more. And you also want to make sure that you're super profitable on just even your lowest level. Here's the pricing that we have found that works the best. $49 per week for large group training sessions. Large group is 16 people or more in a class. Then your semi-privates for maybe six on one is going to be 119 to 149 per week. And privates are 199 or more per week. And that's for three sessions per week. So that's what your pricing should be. That's it. Super simple. Now, when you charge them, and we're gonna get into this right now, and that is number three, your billing cycle. Most people charge monthly. They do monthly payments, all this stuff. Think about it this way. If I asked you like, hey, go jump off a bridge because everyone else is doing it, are you gonna do it? No, you're not going to. Most people agree to pay the same price regardless of how often you bill. So let's do this. Instead of doing monthly where every year you get 12 billing cycles, let's move to every 28 days or every four weeks, which will get you an extra billing cycle at the end of the year without changing a single thing, which is an 8% increase in revenue. Here's an even more simple example of this, of how much money you're leaving on the table. If right now you make $20,000 per month in revenue from your gym and you switch from a monthly model to every four weeks for the same price point, you just put $20,000 into your pocket at the end of the year without changing a single thing. You didn't have to add a new client, new class, nothing. You just added $20,000 to your bottom line without changing a single thing. So switch from doing monthly to charging every 28 days, every four weeks. When you're selling, the way that you position this, by the way, is you position this as it's $49 a week. We just bill every four weeks. That's it. So you're selling the lower price point, but you're letting them know you bill every four weeks. It's very simple. Number four is going to be session length. So when we're thinking about this one, most people think about it as like 60 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. And the problem is, is that a lot of people, when they'll do a 60 minute session, they'll do a 15 minute break. The problem with that is that number one is you really don't need 60 minutes. And if you have a 15 minute break, you're really struggling in regards to capitalizing on revenue per hour 
and revenue per square foot. And so here's what's really cool. That's the broken model is doing 60 minute sessions all the time with a 15 minute break or even back to back. It's exhausting and it limits ultimately your capacity to grow. So what we wanna do is we wanna simplify it. And we have seen zero difference in retention or any or sales, doesn't matter. When we drop from 60 minutes to 45 and sometimes even 30 minutes per session. So even in a tiny facility, if you can do 30 minutes back to back, you can increase the capacity. Think about it this way. If you have a 1200 square foot facility and let's say you can only fit 20 people in a class, you can do at 30 minutes Minutes, you can do 40 people in an hour, back to back, 30 minutes, bam, 40 people in an hour. And all of a sudden you're making more money and you're able to still provide an exceptional experience. So if you're in that scenario where you're like, no, I've got to do more than 30 minutes, 30 minutes isn't long enough, do 45 minutes. Trust me, it will crush and it will help with how much you're actually paying out for your services and your trainers because you'll be able to fit more time in, more classes and sessions, which means more people within the same time frame. So you don't have to, let's say you could offer three classes within the same time frame that it would, you could do two classes. And so then it becomes easier and you can actually get more people in. Number five is gonna be number of sessions delivered. Typically what we see with gyms is they're doing seven or eight sessions a day. You still have to pay the trainer the same payroll even if the sessions aren't full. And that is way too expensive. So what you wanna do is you wanna decrease the number of sessions you offer based on a couple different things, but I'll keep it simple. You want to have it at five or less. Okay. You decrease your payroll from 160 to 110 sessions per month. If you cut it from seven or eight to five, if you cut down to four, we're talking only 80 to 90 sessions that you have to pay for in the month. Not only will this increase profitability by decreasing costs, there will be almost no change in memberships that you have. But the cool part about this is if you have classes where they're back to back, let's say you have a 5:30 evening and a 6 30 evening and the 5 30 has like 15 people in it. And the 6 30 has like five people in it, cut the 6 30, have have them come to the 530 and then just make sure that now has 20 people. It's a better group. It's a bigger community, more energy, and it's a better vibe. You want full classes. You don't want small classes. And one of the things, think about it this way. It's really hard for gyms to add semi-private when they have so many classes and they're basically essentially getting semi-private training in these large group settings because they have five or six people. And this is why your OGs get upset if you raise prices or change things because they're used to literally getting semi-private training simply because you have too many classes options. And so now it becomes really hard to do this. So cut all your classes that don't have enough people in them and then switch all these levers. If you do these, I guarantee it, you will see way more profit inside of your facility and you're going to be able to ultimately double your capacity, maybe even more, triple it and grow and scale your business. So hopefully this helps. If you find this information valuable, hit that like button, drop a comment down below. And we've put together a free document that you can download completely for free called the seven money models we use to scale gyms to over a hundred thousand dollars per month like clockwork you can grab it by clicking in the description down below and as always please uh, subscribe and follow us for more information on this to help you reach more people stack more cash simply change the world